your, your signal bars. We call that in signal bar. So what I'm, what I'm saying is this. Let me show you in pictorial form. What we are saying is, if you are having, you know, you look at the chart, the market is going up, and then you put moving average. Let's say the market is going like this, going like this, going like this, you know. If you put moving average 50, and the moving average is going across the base like this. That's the moving average. It means that it's a healthy trend. Do you understand now? If you put 20, 20 will be inside. Do you understand? Yeah. Of this particular one. If you put 10, 10 too will be inside. Do you get the point? But 50 now will, will follow the base. Is that okay? No. Now, now, if the trend, the trend is strong, is strong that, 20 that 20 that was inside here, let's say it's a strong trend like this, you see that 50 will be here. Meanwhile, 20 will now follow this one. Are you getting the difference now? So this 20 is a strong trend. You can see that both of them are going up. But this one is coming back deep. This one is coming back deep. But this one is not coming back too deep. Yes. No, no, healthy. Now, the weak trend will usually follow 100 to 200 moving average. Okay, so it, you will see that it's tilted upwards, you know, uh, but it's not, it's not respecting 50. It will be going deeper than 50. Okay? Yeah, so this one is a weak trend. This is weak. Healthy is 50 which is this one, okay? This is healthy, 50 ME, all right? Now, um, that's how this, you can see that these moving averages can, can show you the trend, is it not? Yeah. Because that's what I'm supposed to show you, how to identify a trend. If you put a moving average, yeah. <coughs> Weak trend. It's, 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 a, it's, it's almost the same thing as this guy. It's just that, the pullbacks will be very deep. You can have uh, something like this. You can have something like this, you know, something that goes up, down, up, down. You can see it. It's going up, oh, but it's, yeah, it's wide. You understand? Do you get the point now? If you put 50, you can see that 50 will be violated, is it not? If you put 50 now, 50 can be running like this. And then this one will go down. All of a sudden, it comes back up. Stay on top of 50. Do you understand? So on this one, we say it's, it's going up, but it's weak. So if you put 100 to 200, it will usually now respect it. Do you understand the point now? Aha. Some of you are now deciding not to come tomorrow. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, they should be found out because when they are found out, it, it shows that um, the price is directional. Yes, no range. Because when the moving averages are twisted, yeah, tilted down is the direction. If it's tilted down, it's a downtrend. If it's tilted up, it's an uptrend. It's obvious. Is it not? Yeah, so now see what we normally do. We will now tell you that in that strategy I want to give to you, you are going to combine EMA 20 and EMA 50 so that you can catch both strong and healthy trends. Is that okay? So we'll, co we'll combine the two moving averages at the same time. Now what we are going to do is when they are now moving up, the 50 is going up. The 20 is going up, right? Yes. Now, the price is going to be above like this. Now, when the price comes back down towards that window, we call it a window because you see the two, the two lines together, right? You, you, you change the color. If this one is 50, 20 can stay here like this. Is that okay? So 50 will now be somewhere here. 
So what we are saying in essence is that you have a window. This is a window, is it not? That's your window. The strategy is called open windows. Okay, open window strategy. As long as this line has not twisted, because if the direction changed to the downside, the lines will, once this market now starts to go down like this, what will happen to these lines is that this one now will not come like this. Is it not? Then this one will not come like this. Is it not? Yeah. You see that they have twisted. So as long as they are open like this, anytime the market dips down, it's assumed that the market is correcting itself, is resting to continue again. So all you need to do is look out for the signal bars in the window. Is that okay? So look for indecision and trend bar in that window, and then you put your 1,000 Naira there, and then wait for the next swing up. Is that okay? Yes. It's a simple strategy, is it not? Yes. So it's just for us to show ourselves how to do it, right? Uh, using this strategy, is the moving average a replacement of trend line? Or skinny trend line? And yeah, if you, some people would prefer to draw the trend line by themselves. But it, I have to take you through a lot of rules for drawing a trend line, which is more difficult, right? And if I tell you how to draw a trend line, Mr. A can connect this leg with this leg and this leg. Mr. B will connect two like this. Yes. That's why this is mechanical. Is that okay? It's mechanical. Do you understand my point? Uh -huh. For everybody, the moving average 20 is the same on the price. If I tell you to draw your line by yourself, the trend line I taught you, trend line is drawn across the base of the market. So that place where it's bouncing from, if I tell you to connect a line, it's not always straight all the time. Is it not? If you look at your market. So but the moving average, that window is always there when there's a trend. Do you understand now? Yeah. You wait because the signal bar is telling you that there is confusion now. They are fighting for whether they should reverse. Because when that reversal will happen, you will not know. So the only thing that will tell you that we have fought and now we want to go another lap is the indecision and trend bar. Yeah, of course, you can go to another pair. You can go to any pair among the major pairs and minor pairs. You will continue. Um, I think I still have some other slides I'm supposed to share with you. But all those ones are theory, and I'm sure my students will do a good job with that one. That's why I'm doing this part for you. Is that okay? Yeah, because they are supposed to tell you what is PIP. I told you PIP, Abi. Uh -huh. I told you major pair. I told you Euro USD. And all those small, small things, they will show you. Is that okay? Because if I start showing you, we will just waste time. You understand? They are here. I have, I'll quickly go down. So just go, follow me on my slide. You'll see that I still have, see what is Forex? They will, they will tell you. Is that okay? Uh -huh. What is Forex? They'll tell you different between Forex and stocks. Look at Forex, pool of water, spring, compared to tap. It's not the same. That's why we make a lot of money here. Yeah. Do you understand? This is stocks. Stocks is one small tap. Compared to the kind of money you can make from Forex. And that's, that's where I'm going to. That's where I'm, I'm, I'm sliding through. All right? So they'll tell you the advantage of trading Forex. They'll tell you about the market hierarchy. Okay? They will tell you about the major sessions. There's London session, New York session, all these things. These are now the, the rudiments. Is that okay? The basic thing. What I'm doing is the, the hard work. I know it's difficult, but it's better we do it like this. When you come back here now, you just eat all these ones easy. Is that okay? Uh -huh. Okay, then you have major currencies. You can see Euro, USD, USD, JPY, GBV, USD, USD card. USD, CHF, AUD, USD, NZD, USD. These are major. Is that okay? Because they have a good economy. Right? All these, all these, are, the top, these are the top economy in the world. The strongest currencies in the world. Talking about dollar, New Zealand dollar, Australian dollar, Canadian dollar, GBP, pounds, euros. Everybody is behind them. South African rand, which is uh, minor, is behind uh, Norwegian krona is behind. Turkish lira is behind. 
Yes. Then when you now come, it's major when it is, these major are paired with USD. But when you now enter, when you, you, you put them with each other, like euro and pounds, it now becomes minor. Is that okay? So if you look at the next slide, look at all these ones, they have USD, USD. Look at them. All of them have USD. And they are major. Is that okay? But the next slide, you will not see USD on any of them. They are all cross. Yes. So GBP on this other guy. This, so these are the guys I trade. Just the uh, major and minor. Yes. Because they have more volatility. Their movements are more and fast. If you place a trade in the morning, before evening, it has traveled 100 pips. Yes. Minor major. I'm serious every day. How many of you play Temple Run? Temple Run. GBP is like that lady with red hair. That's how it runs. From morning till night. Once London starts, it blows whistle. It runs till evening. New York. You see it? So these are some of the things you will now begin to see now when you come uh, in. So all these other ones are called exotic pairs. That's where you have um, South African rand. You can see there's no Nigerian naira. Yeah, it's not an omission. Okay, it's not an omission. Nigeria cannot be traded. It's a problem. Now it's, I mean, yeah. Nigeria cannot be traded. When, when, the, when the youths were fighting for NSAS, even though the protest was hijacked, the, they, they had a good cause to fight because we're in trouble in this nation. We're in serious shit. The, the, the mess we are in, and the, you know they are, they, are, they, are, they are still borrowing money. They are putting their children's children in a bigger mess. All these debts, are supposed to be paid by the government that is coming. Are you aware yes. that their tenure is four years? Yes. But they, they go into contracts, they go into deals that will, that will, that will in-depth Nigeria for years. For 35 to 40 years. Yes. In advance. In advance. You, you'll, be, you'll be in debt. Okay, they, they, they said that uh, Buhari can be watching me now, that I should, I should be careful. So that, so that they will not bring... Uh, uh, and they say, uh, sir, you, you are the one that said uh, Buhari is not bringing... Well, yeah, come and explain to him by yourself. <laughs> at, at Aso Rock. When Two-Face two say he wants to protest, we are still in democracy, we have not left. But when Two Face say he wants to protest and everything, what happened to the protest? The next thing we heard is Two Face have show in USA. They don't call out. They have, they have settled him and closed. There are some things you know, but if you, they know Two Face has force, that would have been the SAS, the main, the main protest. That Two Face is. Who, who is who knows Bob Mali? These are the these are activists, people that made their country great with music. He sings all his lyrics. You listen to Fela. See, tomorrow Fela is telling you, Buhari, go and listen to it. He's, he's telling you he's a thief. Is this is the lyrics of the song? <laughs> all right, so they teach you, they'll, they'll teach you how to read quotes. If this is, is, if this is um, Naira against USD, you see 300 and, uh, I mean, sorry, you see 580 Naira. Is that okay? That's what will be here, and that will be the quote. So they'll teach you all these things going forward. And then there's something we call bead and axe. They will explain to you too. All right, so I don't want us to waste our time with it. That's why I'm teaching you uh, the main thing. This is a lot size. That's, that thing your calculator will give to you is a lot size. That's the volume. So that's the size to buy. So that you don't lose more than the amount you like to lose. Yeah. So these are some deeper things they will show you. Where to buy. This is how you make money. So you can see that the market moved 533 pips from here to here. So if you are, if you are riding that market, 
from where you enter to where it, it began to reverse, you will have 500 pips in your favor. So if one pips is one dollar, that's five hundred dollars. Well, you can, it's about seven days. It's written there. About seven days. Five hundred dollars in seven days is not too bad. Five hundred dollars is about um, two hundred and fifty thousand. Is it not? Yes. So uh, it's not a bad result. So what do you need to 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 trade successfully? Now trading stands on a three leg chair. And these are the three things. Your money management, your strategy, and your trading psychology. Is that okay? And then let me, let me, let me shock you. Is the trading psychology that have the highest? The methodology that you're using to trade carries the least. And I see a lot of people clamoring for strategy. Strategy is not what makes you a successful trader. Because no matter the strategy you use, it will never be 100%, as long as it's technical analysis. Unless it is not technical analysis. That's why when you come to me bragging about a strategy, I don't care. I don't care because it is never 100%. If I'm comfortable with what I'm doing, I'll keep doing it. If I have my losing streak, I'll be patient because soon my winning streak will come. Is that okay? Because when they have a losing streak, they'll jump to another strategy, yes. thinking that the problem is the strategy. It's the psychology that is wrong. Psychology carries 60% of what you need to be successful. And that's why we have spent so much time talking and talking and talking. Because the actual strategy is 10%. It's easy. Is that okay? It's really easy. It's not difficult. I can, I can assure you it's very easy. And then your money management is important too. Your money management rules. How much you want to risk. How much you want to lose. Those things are important. Is that okay? All right. Okay, so, as we always say, uh, each trader has his own demon to exercise in the journey to becoming a successful trader. So you have to decide... To be a trader even 20 years from now. On my sick bed, I can still place a trade. Is it not? As long as my fingers are working, I can still place a trade and, and have my holiday. Right? So, your decision, when we say be a professional, we are saying you are still looking at trading many, many years. From now, it's not a short term thing to just do it and step out. Right? You do it, you can you continue for many years. So if you have that mindset, you will not be in a hurry. Is it not? You not rush to look for how to quit making money. So learn as much as you can. Do not get greedy and rush to take trades. Okay? Don't rush to place trades. I'm going to show you something mechanical which is going to bring you into the market so that you can start. But don't rush. Is that okay? Do not rush. Develop a method for analyzing your trade. Is that okay? So you develop a strategy like I have my own. I told you moving average 20 and 50. Is it not? Aha. Uh -huh. Then you can now add it, whatever you want to add, to further help you get a better result. For example, on open windows, I usually add the MACD. MACD is another indicator. The MACD will show you that the trend is genuinely going up. It's supporting the entry you are taking. So we are saying that even though the market is coming down, MACD will tell you that it's coming down, but the histograms are still heading up, showing you that this is only a correction. Because if the market is doing a correction, and the MACD is pointing down. It means that that correction is too deep and it's changing the direction of the trend. Yes, that, in this strategy, we are using MACD. Okay, so you can choose to use my parabolic SAR in another strategy. All right, so develop a money management plan. Tell yourself, I'm going to risk 1% or 2%, and I'm going to take this number of trades in a day. 
That is very important. These things I'm saying are the things that are important for you to be successful. Okay? And then uh, be aware that a trader is the number one destruction to a brilliant trading system. You can develop an excellent trading system on paper, but in reality, you cannot do it well because if before, when you put 1,000 and the thing starts, it triggered the bar. The market is still going. You now, you, uh, maybe as you are attending to your customer, you now come back and say, Madam, wait, let me quickly look at something. You open your phone, you check, check, check. You see, ah, this thing is now giving you 1,100 naira profit. You keep it, you now be playing with the madam. You'll be excited and happy. Then, after some time again, you now go back and you now see, uh, 250 naira, you now say, ah, ah, is this not the thing that I see one one now now? That is now coming back to 200 naira. You understand? So now, you wait all the evening, you now be seeing around maybe 400 or 600, right? Where is your target? What is, what is your target? 2,000 now, is it not? You are aiming for 2,000. But the thing got to 1, 2, came back to 250. Come back now, it's going small, small. It's now in 600. It's now in. Now, what you will not be telling yourself is ha, if, if I manage to see 1,000, I'll just. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. If it manage, come to 950. In fact, as you see 950, if you now see 900, you just off it. <laughs> what is it 950? You see 900, you just put it off. Is it not? So that's why we say the trader is the, the, the number one destruction to a brilliant system. When you come back tomorrow, you will see that that market got to 5,000. Is it not? That's what happens. And then you now start feeling bad. That ah, I should have left it. You understand? So you are the one destroying your system. Is that okay? Sometimes the best thing to do is when you place your trade, you're not risking too much. You can step out. And you will not feel it. Is it not? You can step out and you will not feel any emotional issues. But when you are looking at it bar by bar, market doesn't go up straight. It must come down. Go back. Come down. Elliot has said it. We rest and continue. Rest and continue. Okay, so take note of that, please. And then uh, you must look within yourself and then stop the, uh, the, the things that you do that have led to losses. That's why forest takes time because you have to be watching yourself to curb all your attitudes that lead to losses. So these are the things that will eventually now help you to be successful. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah, so these are the things that uh, traders have to take note of. Now, open your calculator. Let's do something quickly. Um, open your... Okay, open your chart. Let's do it together. Open your chart. And then let's look for, let's, let's, let's set up our, our environment with uh, open window strategy. Is that okay? So open your, 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 your calculator, put for me, put for me moving average, exponential moving average 20 and exponential moving average 50. Make one green, make one blue or use any color that you like. But know which one is 20 and which one is 50. Oh, yeah, people should come. Oh, yeah, sharp, sharp. Ask them, ask them questions. Yeah, that's the, I, that, I know. I know, I know. No, no, not calculator. Go to your market. Go to your market first. When we see a, a setup to trade, we will now go back to calculator. Is that okay? And ask the calculator for the lot size. Oh, yeah, call them, see them around now. Ask them. To show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> Open your market. And, okay, let's go to Euro USD. Everybody, go to Euro USD. Network. Is your network? Shut it down and bring it back. Uh, okay, let's do one hour. I recommend one hour for beginners because. Anything below one hour might be too fast. Before you even go and press your calculator and come back, it would have gotten to target. If you, 
Yeah, so change it to one hour. Change it to one hour time frame. Are you there? You people should come. Where are they now? I know some of you should come to this side. Then, those of you who know how to do it among yourselves, help each other so that we can move faster. If you have done it, make sure your neighbor has done it. Is that okay? So when you are teaching to, you will be improving yourself. So, what I'm, what I'm saying is, go to Euro USD one hour time frame. Euro USD one hour time frame. Give me that my phone, my you. Share you capture that. No. Okay. I'm supposed to have him to fall here. So, are you on Euro US the one hour time frame? You are there now? Who is not there yet? Oh, yeah, ask somebody to show you. Ask someone. Now, when you have put, when you have gotten Euro USD on one hour time frame, the next thing you do for me is look at up there, you see where they put F formula. That F means is the, the place for indicators. So click it, you'll see a lot of indicators. Look for moving average. Yes. 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 Now, before, before anything, look at your charts to see if there's anyone there already. If there's anyone there already, delete it. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Now, from where you press F, you will see, you will see that there are already some things there. Is it not? So if you look at one, one is moving average. Uh -huh, look up, up right corner. You see that uh, waste paper basket. So click on it and delete the one you want to delete. So check, there's a check box. There's a check box. Delete the moving average there already. You put it by yourself. That one is the one that follow come. So delete that one. Yes. It's deleted, Abby. Let everybody delete. So, uh, when you look at your market now, the only thing you are seeing is just the market, is it not? Only market without any indicator. Abby? That, see that RSI, Relative Strength Index, delete it also. De delete, delete, delete all of them. We we'll start afresh. Delete all. You have deleted all. Okay. Oh yeah, just leave it like that first. Okay, so you have you have cleaned everything, Abi. Now you are going to put three things on your chart, which you are going to use to analyze. All you'll be doing now is to follow the rules and then uh, look for the signal. Is that okay? Those two bars I told you. 
All right? First of all, I'll open here so that I can show you those bars. Is that okay? But, but let's, let's take the setup. Now, when you have deleted everything, go and put the moving average by yourself. Press that F again. Then on the indicator window, press that F plus. So that you will see a long list of indicators. Have you seen it? You have seen a long list of indicators. Look for moving average. You have seen moving average. There, now, when you click on moving average, you have to change the settings, is it not? You have seen about four things that you can edit. Uh -huh. Yes. Now, period is moving average 20. Uh -huh. So, I told you you used two, Abi. So, put, select 20 there. Have you selected 20? Shift is zero. Shift is on zero, Abi. It's supposed to be zero. Yes. Uh -huh. You don't, don't shift it. Then your method is exponential. You are going to see other types of moving average. Linear weighted, simple, and the others. So you see exponential. Method is exponential. Apply to close. Apply to close. Your style is your choice. It, the style is how, how thick you want the line to be. So if you, if you want the line to be very thick, you use the big one. If you don't want it to be too thick, you use the, uh, the middle one. If you want it to be light, you use the lowest. It's your choice. Then the color now, you will decide. You can use red for the 20, but make sure you know which one is, is 20. Is that okay? So when you look at the color now, it's already red. You can leave your 20 as red. Is that okay? 20 as red. Color. Style. Style is your thickness. The thickness, the thickness of that red line, that's style. And you can use something in the middle. Something in the middle. Use two so that you see it. Make, you can make your, your style two. Yeah, two pixel. So that if it's, if it's still too small, change it to three. If it's still too small for you, change it to three. You can always come back and, and, and edit it. Apply to, apply to close. Apply to close. Level. Level. What do you mean by level? No, no, ignore it, ignore it. So when you're done, don't go back. Press done at the top. So press done, shift, shift zero. Don't touch the shift. Yeah. So when everything is correct, just say done. No, don't touch it. Is that okay? That's okay. Now, go back. Hey, listen now. Go back and confirm that you can see the red moving average in your price. It's there. Now, do the 50 by yourself. Do the 50 by yourself and change it to blue. If you're done, let me see. Just follow the same steps I gave you before. And do the 50 by yourself, but change the color. You can change the color to blue. Yes. So the period will change to 50. The color will change to blue. Every other thing is the same as the other one's settings. Yeah. Uh -huh, let me see. Thank you. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. See now. Hello. Wait, let me correct it. You are going to eventually have two on your chart. I'm, I'm not saying you should go and edit your 20 and remove it and change it to 50. I said add. Yes. Add. Beautiful. That's why I showed you now already now. 
Shall I show you here? You are going to have two. Two lines like that. So the same step, F, moving average, right? Press F, press moving average, put the settings, and then done. Yes, this is correct. If you, if you even look at it, there's a setup that is already going to target. Yes. Yes. Euro US one hour, okay. Yeah, this is right. This, this is better now. I want to be sure it's correct. Yes. Yes, this is, this is very correct. This is one. Which one is this? 20 or 50? There was 20 before. No, you did not add. You, you changed. How do we change? How do we Follow the same steps. Uh -huh. So where do we add? We you are not supposed to click on that one you did before. You're supposed to click on add. Change the color. Delete all these ones. I told you. Delete all these ones. Yes. Delete all these ones. Okay. Delete them. Wait, hold on. And then you need to know which one is which. So change the color. Uh, well, actually. But this is the window. Yes. The indecision is supposed to be. Uh, now, this is not perfect, but this small bar. Okay. Followed by the black one that is full bodied. Okay. Can serve as indecision into the, the window. Okay. And then going back, you see so many of them. See them here. Yes, indecision yeah, and black. Okay, okay, okay. Two times. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. See the first, yeah. see the first one. But it's changing the direction. Uh -huh. Done. Done. Look at it there. It's giving bearish here. But this one is also going bullish. Yeah, but it will not stop you out because your stop loss will be here. And the height of these two, in fact, you get it in this bar. So, look at it. Done. That's yes. Okay. Is this 50 or 20? 20. This 20? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Exponential. F. F. It's simple. It's simple. You need to change your method. Okay. Exponential. Exponential. Yes, go back now. Done. 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 Yes. You can see now his explanation. It's not paying attention to this new price movement. So it has come down. That's why I told you, are you sure? Because it was up here before. Okay. So now Now you add another one. Then press F plus. F plus. Okay. Moving average again, but this time 50 and blue color. Okay. Exponential, don't forget. Moving average again. Exponent 50. These settings are the same. Change color to blue. Yeah, done. Yeah, sure. You can see you have two now. Is this correct, sir? Yes. Your, 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 your moving averages are not correct. Let him show you. Let him show you. Your moving averages are not correct. Your, the period of your moving average is not correct. Look at it. This is correct. Yes, this is okay. So up, up until this point, yes. So everybody now has 20 and 50 on their chart. Yes. Now, I want you to notice something. Uh, there's something we call back testing. You are going to go backwards and look at the previous historic data. Whenever there is an indecision bar followed by a trend bar, you see that the market will go two times the height of that bar. Is that okay? We'll, we'll look at it, but before we do that, put the MACD histogram. It's simple. It's simple. MACD histogram. Go to the same place, but now look for MACD instead of moving average. Is that okay? MACD. Yeah, look for MACD.
M A C D. M A. No, don't edit numbers. Leave it five eight twenty one. Leave it like that. Don't touch any settings now. Yes. Magis programmed. Yeah. Yeah. Don't touch anything. All you need to do is just put Magdi on your chart. If you still have RSI, remove it. See now, anything that is on the base is called an oscillator. Anything that is added on the price itself is called an indicator. Is that okay? So the one at the base is the oscillator. MACD is an oscillator. Is that okay? Yes. The EMA is an indicator. Because it's on the, no, leave them. So there are three tools. These things you put, eh? You know when a woman wants to cook, she will use knife. She will use turning stick. She will use stove. You understand? So your moving average 20, moving average 50, MACD, they are your knife and your stove and all those things. Is that okay? They are the ones that will now help you to eat. Do you understand the point now? Because if you are just looking at the market, it will be confusing. Is it not? But now you can see the direction. Now there's something I want to tell you. When you are ready to buy or sell, look at your MACD histogram. You see that there's a middle line that is zero. With bars going up and down. The bars that are going up, that are above zero, we call them positive bars. Because they are greater than zero. And they represent that the uptrend is still ongoing. That's uptrend for the upside bar. Uh, hold on. Okay. Right, look at look at my look at this chart. The one with the broken line is the one that you have as your red, which is EMA 20. Is that okay? The one with the the um, continuous line is my EMA 50. Is that okay? Let me confirm that, or let me just even change it. So I want to edit it so you can see this moving average 20, exponential 20, navy blue. Broken lines are changing to continuous line. And then I'll change my color to yours, which is red. Okay? Let me increase the thickness a little. So you can see this is your moving average 20, is it not? Yes, then this one is the moving average 50. So EMA 50, blue. Let me make this blue, real blue. Okay? And then make it thick. So you can see this is what you have. And then you now have MACD. So I'm going to add MACD. How many of you have added the MACD? Yeah. All right, good. So I'm going to add MACD. So you can see this is my own MACD. Yeah. So what you notice is I have histograms going up and down. Let me reduce the thickness. Okay, so if I'm, if I'm correct, this is exactly what you have on your chart. Now, let me, let me tell you, let me tell you uh, what I'm saying. When the market is in a downtrend, you can see I drew something like this on the board. Is it not? So what we are looking for is let this market touch here and show us indecision bar with a trend bar. Once it happens like that, we buy. 
Once he approaches EMA 20 with that signal bar, and look at now, look at, let's look at this for example. You can see that the MACD is negative. Negative is for sale. Once the MACD is, is below the midline, you are to sell. So it's fanned out to the downside. When I say fanned out, there's, that, there's open space. It's not, it's not tight like this. Are you seeing it? You can see, you can see it's interwoven here. And you cannot look for opportunities when it's interwoven like this. So you make sure that it's already fanning out. It's a trend. Is that okay? Then that your MACD is on the side of your bias. So that even if the market is going against you, and the MACD is still down, it has not moved up, you know that the downtrend is still good. It's just a correction. And what you want to get is a discount price to continue the downtrend. Do you understand what I just said? Let me zoom this a bit. Now, you're going, you're going to see... You're going to see... Oof, this is going to be difficult. So, now, let's, let's, let's go back a bit. See, look here. Look at this guy here. You can see, ordinarily, when you come in and begin to understand certain things, there's, see, when you have an indecision bar plus a trend bar like this, if you add these two together, if you add them together, what you will see is something like this. Because this will cancel this and leave you with only this. Do you understand? So when we teach you bars, you will understand that part. So for now, just ignore it. Because I can just tell you, okay, take pin bars. Pin bars are very effective. Pin bars in Windows. This is a pin. Look at the pin. Look at this. This is a pin. You can see it. Market is coming down, and then it pulls back into the moving average with a pin bar. Now, when you have a pin bar, even if you did not take the pin bar, you assume that this is a non-trending bar. The next one is a, is a bodied candle to the downside, is it not? Yes. So you put your order under here, right? So you tell the market that you want to sell here. Look at now, I'm going to use a line to show you. So under here, you place your, your sell. Uh, change this color. I want to change the color so that you can see it. Uh, use, um, yeah, let me use Magenta. You can see, it, right? So you can see where I am, just under the, the black bar. So you can see this is a small body candle on the moving average. Now, I'm interested in what after they have fought. I'm, I'm trying to sell, is it not? So I'm interested in what kind of bar? Bearish or bullish? Bearish. So I have a bearish bar. You can see it now. So I'm going to put my entry one tick under that bearish bar. Is that okay? Then I'm going to now put my, my stop loss here. One tick above the week of the two bars, whichever is longer. Is that okay? Now, you can see that from here to here, my number of pips, they'll teach you how to calculate that, is the difference from this to this. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Yes, that's my number of pips. If you, if you have a computer and you, uh, you have uh, this right here, you can just drag from here. If I double click on this line and drag it up to this point, I can see the number of pips. Here, the number of pips is uh, 50. Is that okay? So it's 50 pips. How many hours is this? Okay, this is H4. Is that okay? Because H4 is for somebody who is um, taking a trade for a swing. Because H4, you need only six bars in a day. You understand? Imagine you are looking for six bars in a day. It's going to take you about four or five days. Is it not? You get the point? Now that's why you can choose what you want. If you go to H1, you will still find opportunities there that will materialize faster. So H4 is okay. H1 is okay anywhere you are comfortable with. Yes, 
And this is back testing. Now, let, let me tell you something. You know, a lot of people will come to the middle of the chart and show you their strategy, and then they look like an expert. Yes. You understand? When you get to the edge of the chart, it's difficult. It's different. But you, you have to recognize it first, very well, in the middle. Do you understand? Understand it, recognize it in the middle. So that when you are in real time and it's happening, you can spot it very fast. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, so that I'm doing this does not make the strategy excellent or whatever. I'm just showing you. Do you get it? Okay, so, and then, when you have seen that this is 50 pips, you're now going to take 100 pips to the downside. This trade got to target, is it not? It got to target. Because when you set this, you now come and set your, your target here. You calculate 100 pips from this entry line down. So wherever you have 100 pips, let me see. Uh, what I use sometimes is the grid. If you have this as one grid, you have one, two grid, and somewhere around there you should get 100. Okay, so from my entry line down to this point, you can see that this is 106, this is 100, right here, it's 100. In fact, uh, it's just one bar that took you to target, is it not? This is the type that when it happens, you call your friend and say, uh, I'm now, bring all your money. <laughs> bring all your money. <laughs> yeah, there are different case scenarios. No, no, yeah. This one, this one, you place your order. Once your order is triggered, within that H4, within that four hours that this happens, it goes from entry to, to profit. I've taught them the case scenarios. This is one of them. Market just goes all the way. Right? When the market behaves like this, there, there is a way to manage it. Because what we do is, we don't open all our position at once. We break it down. So that if the market is going to continue, part of the position will still be open. So instead of using the whole 1,000 Naira to place one trade, we are going to use 700 Naira and take our target at 1,400, which is two times. Then that remaining 300 will leave it, will not put target. This is a little bit advanced. What I'm saying is, instead of opening one trade here, we're going to open two trades. The two trades, if the two lose, the total is 1,000 Naira. Is that okay? One of them, the two positions, one of them, what we expose is 700 Naira which is about two-third of what we are risking. Then the remaining 300 Naira will also open it there and put stop loss, but we will not put target. So that if the market is going to continue like this, your 300 Naira will not stop here. Yes. By the time you come back the next day or the end of the week, market is around here. This one has given you one four in your bag. This one that is a good trade, We'll still be running. You can still have another 1,000 or 2,000 from this market. Yeah. That is trade management. These are the things that makes me exceptional. Yeah. Right? That's why we make a lot of money. All right? Once you are a good trader, you're going to make a lot of money. All right? And then some of these things take time. You can't just come in and then you start to do it. I'm just adding this as an additional, you know, take home. So, but it works. If you want to close the trade and stop it, what would you do? Well, we, if you want to stop it, like the, the, one trailing. the one that is trailing, yeah. and you can have another rule that will, that will be stopping the trade. You can say you will not stop it as long as the window is open. How do you stop it? You close it now. Close Just press S. Sure. Where, your, where your trade is reading, <laughs> where your trade is reading, you will see S. So you just click it now. It's like closing a window. They will be showing where that price is, that amount that is reading. If it's full, press it and hold it. You will see the option of close and other things. Yes. Open chart, close, close trade, all those things. So you click it, you close. That one is manual closing. Yes. So this makes sense, Abi. Does it make sense? 
So uh, we have run, we are already out of time for today. Yeah, I just ensured that, yeah, I just ensured that I show you a pictorial representation of all these, yeah, grammar. Right now, what is left from this point is for you to start practicing some of these things. You can see that it's not that difficult. It's just to recognize. If I continue, we'll see more setups, is it not? I can see one here, here. You put your stop loss, put your entry, and then you go to target. See another one here. Here, here. You go down. And then, uh, just like that. This one now. You know that when the market jumps up and you are trying to sell, it is not a good setup anymore. Are you aware? Uh -huh. So, do your back testing. You see, I've just told you for, for sell. We have for buy. Right? We have for buy. There are a lot of cases. Look, look everywhere. You will see setups. All right? Look at this one. Sepimba. Followed by this. To go up. Look at this one. So once it comes into the window and touches it, observe the bar. Small body bar. Followed by a big body bar. Then put your stop loss there. If you can, if you like, if you see bars like this that are pimba, that the weak is two third of the size of the body. You can use only that bar. Is that okay? Put your stop loss, put your entry. If it triggers, we expect it to go up. As long as everything is in your favor. You can see Magdi here is what? Up. Is it not? Magdi is up. Meaning that it's positive. It's an uptrend. If Magdi comes and it's a downtrend, Magdi cannot be down and your signal is telling you to buy and you buy. It's wrong. Do you understand it now? So the rule is saying that the red line for you to buy, red line will be above the blue line. Is it not? And the histogram will be above zero, which is positive. Do you understand? If the histogram is negative, you sell. If other things are also correct. Is it not? Aha. So that's a very simple strategy that you can employ. Now, uh, there are other things that we cannot cover in this class. So by next week, Monday, when you come, those of you who will make it, we are going to teach you how to use your calculator to put in that 1,000. Is that okay? Because you need to know that. How to predefine your risk. So that you tell yourself, if I'm losing $10, it's $10 I want to lose. Is that okay? If I'm losing $5, it's $5 I want to lose. So what I'm saying is, um, I should be around on Monday, but my students will also be around because most of these things will require, you know, somebody putting you through also. So they will be around. They know all this part. These things are elementary. Is that okay? They are very... No, it will be a Masha. Yeah. So it will be a Masha. If, if the, the one downstairs is not enough, we are going to manage ourselves upstairs. Okay? But it will be a Masha. I'm hoping that all of us here will not come because... If all of us here come, the hall will not be enough for all of us to learn. And you, you give me too much headache. So, no, no, I'm not saying you shouldn't come. I want those that are very serious to come. So if you're not, you not very serious, don't waste my own time. You understand what I'm saying? So that you don't give me headache finish, and then at the end of the day, yes, nothing. So... Yeah, no, don't worry. My students are very punctual. Once you go, they start to show you how to predefine risk. And all these things I've omitted, like the predefining, uh, the peeps, all these um, trading session, when to place your trade, when the volatility is high, that you should look for opportunities. They'll tell you all that. Is that okay? Yeah. If we can go over this. Definitely. Yeah, so, um, peep notes, take notes. They are asking to go over some of the things I've talked about today. Yeah, on Monday. So, uh, on, no, next week, Monday. So, I, I, I told you we're going to give you a two weeks free class, okay? So, we, we're going to have it on Monday, on Wednesday and Thursday. 11 a.m. 11 a.m. is fine, Ma. Abi? So, 11 a.m., uh, Masha... 11 a.m. Monday, Wednesday, and, uh, and Thursday. So we'll do it next week and the upper week. We'll, if, the place, if the place 
ends up being extremely small. We'll come back here. Yeah? But um, that's supposed to be the actual facility for us to learn. No, this, this, is not, this is not our own facility. For us... It, it's all right. Let's 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 see let's see what happens. You have a point, but let's see what happens. How many of you will come? How many of you will come? Hey, that's what I'm saying. Everybody will not come. So let's see what happens. Let's 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 see what happens. If it's not enough, within a, within a space of 30 minutes to one hour, they'll move you here and you have to use this space. Yes. Is this the same level? What? Yeah, 11. Let's go by 11 a.m. No, they will be around by 11. Yes. At this point, I was not Yes. Which point? Okay, okay, all right, all right, go ahead. What are you what are you saying now? The point you were mentioning that when you Okay, no, you go back. I went back to see opportunity. So for example, the one I talked about. No, 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 it's not it's not here, but you, you can see indecision bars with trend bars. So you can put your entry here, stop loss here, and then you take your profit down. Okay, just click on this. See this horizontal line. Then you put it. Then you can adjust. It. Yeah. Don't worry, they'll show you this is a minor thing. Am I not having a strange? Yeah, so my people, let me. Okay. Call Adams to. The boy is Okay, one more person. Hello, hold on, hold on, like this, and I'll put that inside. Maybe you can say. Gentlemen, one house, please. One house, one house. Uh, hello, one house. One house, please, 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 sir. Please, please ladies and gentlemen, house. you will agree with me that this has been a rewarding experience since Saturday we started the marathon rest here now. I can testify that this series of seminars has been a, a life changing experience for me. I've actually learned a lot. I've always heard of forests, but you know why people, yesterday there was an argument in the class, people were saying, is forest governing or governing forest? It's because we don't have much knowledge. But right now, I don't, I, from what we have learned now, we can say that forest is a business and it calls for more, much more experience. We are very grateful to City Forest for giving us this opportunity, this platform, even when it is not paid for. Yes, throughout Lagos, it is rare to see an organization like City Forest who can offer you two weeks free lecture. I can guarantee you that even if you don't want to continue after two weeks, you have the foundations, you have the basics. Now I can open trade and place trade. I couldn't have done this before this seminar. So I say thank you very much to City Forest. I'm very grateful. Thank you so much.
before five minutes to leave here. Yeah, what I want to tell you is that this is not my experience in forex. Uh -huh. This is not my first experience in forex. But honestly, what I got here is amazing. Amazing in the sense that we are, there's nowhere you go to tra uh, they train you on forex and they will tell you the strategy immediately. In fact, you can be in some training institutions. You use one year, you don't get the training. All they will do is analysis, analysis, and, and you will not get the, the point. You will not, in fact, you will not even know the enterprise. You keep on asking. All they will be telling you, they will teach you the technical analysis, fundamentality, indicators, and the rest of them. But honestly, what Pip Sojourn has done is amazing. It's amazing. And uh, for some of us who are very new in it, I don't want us to be scared. Now, all you need to do is put your mind in the business and you get it right. And another thing I want to tell us is that you need to set your mind to read. All these things telling us, they don't just come in a single day. You need to read about candlesticks. All these pin bars he's talking about and these uh, indecision bars, they are candlestick patterns. There are some systems, there are reversers. There are the ones that we show you there. So uh, it is when you get it right that you'll be able to get value for your trade. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. Um, for the seminar, uh, for the uh, training, two week free training, yeah. the address is number 1D. It's okay. Go on. Number 1D, Onisemo Street. Masha. Number 1D. Yeah. Is it there, right? No, All right. 11 to 1. 11 